Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to shoot good reference photos for your modeling. Okay, right now, notice I am outdoors. It is sunny out. Uh, I'm not taking this photo indoors where it's going to be dark and I'll get blurry photos. If I was indoors, I'd also have to use a flash and that would wash out my image. But I'm outdoors, so I get nice bright lighting. Alright, I'm standing about four feet away from my subject and I want to take photos from many different angles. Here, 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 all the way around. You can take as many photos as you want. You want to get a wide variety of uh, angles from all around. And those are your three-quarter shots taken from a conversational distance. What you also want to do is shoot some orthographic shots. Now orthographic means that it's an image without distortion due to perspective. The way to do that is by stepping very far away and zooming in. This camera doesn't allow me to zoom in while I'm recording, so I'm just going to pause it now. Okay, so I've zoomed in as far as I could go. Uh, the farther you can zoom in and the farther you can step back, the better. But I would want to take a photo from here and also from the side. Now because my model is standing up against a wall, it's very easy to align myself with the wall and get a nice true side view, like this. Alright, let's get started by taking a look at how to choose images to use for reference in Maya. Let's look at profile images. Now these are the hardest ones to find usually. It's much easier to find three-quarter views or front views. You may have to go rent some DVDs and take some screenshots to get the right images. So let's take a look through these pictures again and see what we think about them for use as reference. I would definitely not want to model from this image as a side reference. You can tell that the head is turned a little bit towards the camera. Same problem with this image. Notice how you can see part of the eye on the far side of the face. That's a good hint that the image is not a true profile. Now this is all kinds of screwed up. The head is tilted, it's a bad profile, it's a bad movie. Don't go here. Again, if you want a good model, don't use imperfect profile reference like this. Now this is what I like to see. Perfect side view. It's a little bit blurry, but we can deal with that. It's not too bad. And here's a good front view. Now let's take it into Photoshop and get it prepared for use as reference in our 3D package. Alright, so here we find ourselves in Photoshop. I'm just going to crop the image down to a manageable size. And uh, go up to uh, View and make your rulers visible if they're not already and uh, click and drag on them to drag out some guidelines so we can line up the uh, features of the face. We want a nice horizontal line that we can line up eyes and ears with and a vertical line that we can uh, place down the center of the face, make sure we get everything rotated. I'm going to hit Control T and rotate it until it's lined up. And hit Enter when you're done rotating lock it in place. I'm going to go up to uh, image, image size and shrink the image a little bit. It's a little too big for what I need to do with it. Making it 1000 pixels tall, that should be good enough for what I'm doing. And also I'm going to go to image and canvas size to give myself some extra space on the right side to place the side view. So I just made the canvas bigger, doubled it in width, and here I'm going to open up my side view. I like to have my side views facing left, so I'm just going to go to uh, image and, and uh, flip horizontal and drag it into my new document. Now this side view is really small, so we're going to have to make it bigger uh, to be the same size as our front view. And I'm going to do a little trick here with actions. I'm going to create a new action. I'm going to call it scale up 10% or 10% scale up. Now what happens is if you scale directly up to the full size, things are going to get pixelated. 
a little bit jagged. If you scale up in increments of 10%, the uh, pixelization does not occur. It's still not, it's not going to add any detail to your image. It's not going to uh, turn a, a low resolution image into a high resolution image. Um, but it will get rid of jaggedness, the jaggies. And uh, so this is kind of a magic trick. I'm just uh, repeating the action of scaling that layer up by 10% over and over until it gets about the, the right size that I want it to be. I'm just using the arrow keys to nudge these layers into place a little bit so they use the, the space a little bit more efficiently. Alright, let's drag down some more guide lines uh, so we can make sure that all the features of the face are lining up between our front and side views. The ears are a, a pretty good uh, thing to line up as well as the eyes, mouth, bottom of the nose, and the chin. You can just hit Control T or Command T on the Apple and rotate until things line up. You might have to scale a little bit. Make sure you hold down Shift if you scale so that it uh, maintains proportions. Because of perspective distortion, the ears might not line up like the rest of the face. So it's okay if the ears are a little bit off, but we definitely want the eyes, the nose, and the mouth to be lined up with each other. Alright, this image is ready to save. I'm going to save both the front and side views out in the same document and load them up in Maya. Alright, to create the image planes in Maya, simply go to the view menu in the viewport and uh, load image plane, find the image we're looking for. And go up to the uh, attribute settings while the image plane is still selected. And we're just going to move it around a little bit so it's more useful in our viewport. And if you scroll all the way down, there's this little, uh, these boxes here where we can move the image in X, Y, and Z space. And so I just want to move it so that it's, it's moved back so it's not getting in the way of my model while I work. I also want to make sure it's uh, centered in the x-axis. And we'll go down to uh, import image plane in the side view as well. So that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. hope you learned something from it. Happy modeling.